One very popular server to run in any home lab is a Minecraft server. You have full control, customization, and you can choose your community. But inviting your friends to play on your server introduces some potential problems. And it begins with you having to open up your private network so that your friends could get into play. But it also allows whoever else to potentially discover you as well and possibly do something malicious. Often this is how attackers get started. They find just a bit of a foothold into your network and can then pivot from there. Sure, you can whitelist the players who play and only open up that port, but the bottom line is your server is still exposed. Or maybe this is the reason you haven't spun up your own Minecraft server or one for your kids because you're adamant about keeping your network private. Well, in this video, I want to give you an alternative. First, I'm gonna show you how to spin up your own Minecraft server at home. Then we're going to deploy a twin gate connector that will allow your friends to join your server and play Minecraft without you needing to open up any inbound rules to your private network. You control their permissions, they can join your server, and all is well. Let's get started. So I have a B-Link mini PC, four core, 16 gigabytes of RAM server that I'm gonna run Minecraft on. It's running Ubuntu, and I'm gonna be using Docker to install everything today. So grab yourself something similar and SSH into it. First, to state the obvious, you'll need Docker. It's super easy to install. Just go to Google, type in Docker Ubuntu, Go to this page, run the commands to set up the apt repository, and then the command to install it. Done. Second, we'll need to create a compose file, not only for our Minecraft server, but for our TwinGate connector as well. We'll just include them both here to make it easy. Let's tackle Minecraft first. So go to Google and type in Minecraft Docker, and you'll see this repo by an ITZG. Just click on that, scroll down to where it says click here for documentation, and click that. So if you scroll down a bit, we'll have an example Docker Compose file to use to spin up a Minecraft server. So let's go to our terminal and let's SSH into our server. So whatever server you've chosen for this, just SSH into it. So Travis at B-Link, that's how I have it set up. Once there, let's create a folder, make der Minecraft, CD Minecraft, and then I'll create the compose.yaml file, sudo vi compose.yaml. And we're gonna take what's in this example here and paste it in. And this looks fine, except for we're gonna add one thing to it. Right above volumes, let's do a restart, unless stopped. If your system crashes or restarts, the container will restart again, unless you manually stop it. Hence, unless stopped. And that's really it. Now, before we run this, I'm also going to include my TwinGate connector inside of this compose file, just to keep it all together. So to do this, first you'll need to create a free TwinGate account. So go to twingate.com, click on try TwinGate for free, and go ahead and set up a TwinGate network if you don't have one already. I'll go ahead and connect to my own. And once you're inside, you'll need to first set up your remote network. A remote network is just a grouping of resources. So I'll create one called Home Network. Go to Remote Networks, click on the plus, and we'll create one on-premise called Home Network. And here I'll include anything that goes in my home network within this remote network. So add that. And as always, when you create a remote network, so let me click on this, it deploys two connectors for you. Two for high availability and load balancing purposes, which TwinGate handles, but we'll just go with one and thus delete the other. So I'm gonna delete one of these. And I'm just gonna change the name of the other. So go to edit. And I'll just call this Minecraft connector. And now let's click on it so that we can set it up for deployment into our private network. So I'll choose Docker as my deployment. I'll continue on to step two and generate tokens. So click generate tokens. You have to authenticate to do that. And normally once you do that, once you have your tokens, you just scroll down to the final step, copy this command, run it on your server, and the connector gets deployed. But instead, we're gonna set this up in our compose file. And we can find information about this in the TwinGate docs. So go to twingate.com, click on docs, go to guides, and if you scroll down under on-premises networks, you can click Docker Compose. And you can read all about this here, but I'm gonna copy this example of Docker Compose with mandatory parameters. So let's start with that. And actually I don't need the services part, so I'm just gonna grab this much, go back to my terminal, 
come down here below and paste it in. So this is going to be another service in our Docker Compose file. So TwinGate Network, if we go back to my admin panel, you can see it up here in the URL bar or you can just go to the home page and you'll see devrel.twingate.com. Make sure you grab this first part of your network. So I'll erase tenant name, paste that in. Access token, we generated those just a moment ago. So for my access token, and actually I clicked off of that, I may have to generate it again. Uh, Docker, yes, I'll have to generate it again. And this is just saying, hey, new tokens will delete the existing tokens, that's fine. All right, so copy my access token, paste that here. And then next is my refresh token. We'll also find that under the access token, copy that. Paste that in. And what else do we need to add? So these are the mandatory parameters. Optional parameters include things like container name, restart, network mode. And then there's some more examples down here if you want to send things to a sim or something like that. So let's add the container name. So the container name, you can set this to the name of your connector as it appears in your admin console. So let's go here under image and say container name. And we called that Minecraft connector. So Minecraft connector. Next, we want the restart policy. We're going to make it just like the other one. And then finally, we're going to change the network mode. So the network mode is implicitly set to bridge, but can be set to host instead. Host mode allows the container to connect to its host machine's network stack and can be used to enable local peer-to-peer -peer connections. So we definitely want to do that. So let's set network mode to host. And I think that'll be it. So network mode host, and let's save it. Now, before we deploy this, let me give a brief word on what's going on here. So we've used our controller, which is essentially our admin panel. We've discussed our connector, which we're about to deploy behind our private network. Our client over here is the software component that we'll download on our laptop to connect to this Minecraft server remotely. The client is a combined authentication and authorization proxy for user requests for private resources. So I'll download this and log into it so that I can access or my friends will be able to access the resource. We'll see all of that in a minute. And then finally, there's this relay and a peer-to-peer -peer connection. This is actually critical to the success of this operation. What's going on here? So the client and connector establish authenticated outbound connections to a relay. These are secure connections initiated from inside each network going outward. The client and connector exchange their IP addresses and port combinations, send packets to each other's IP addresses, which then allows this peer-to-peer -peer connection without having to open any inbound ports. And this peer-to-peer -peer connection allows for very low latency, which is perfect for these real-time gaming situations. And the reason TwinGate is so fast compared to old outdated VPNs that are so, well, slow. So let's deploy all of this and see if we can't get this server running. So to deploy it, we just do docker compose up d dash d, hit enter. Let's do a docker ps, make sure everything's okay. And let's check the logs. So docker logs, minecraft mc1. And everything looks okay. Preparing level world. Let's actually put a dash f and follow that till it's done. And that looks all ready. And then we can check the docker logs of minecraft connector. and we're online. So both containers look like they're running fine. Okay, so this Docker image will deploy the latest version of the Minecraft Java Edition server. You can't run Bedrock on Mac or Linux. So we all know to play the Java Edition, you have to first purchase it. It's like a $29 one-time fee, but after that, you're good. So you have Minecraft running on your Mac or whatever, but you have a separate private server that you can run a multiplayer game with your friends and family. So the first thing we'll do is open that up. So Minecraft and choose multiplayer. Click add server. And instead of Minecraft server, let's just call it a home Minecraft server. And then on my server that Minecraft's running, I'll just do a hostname dash I. And we're at 192.168.1.111. 
So let's add that in as our server address and click done. And to play this game, of course, you just click on that server, click join server, and you're ready to go. And there you go, you're playing Minecraft on your own private server inside of your own remote network. But you don't want to play this alone. So you send this IP address to your friends to join, but it doesn't work, of course. It's a private IP address local to your home network. And what a lot of people do now is they open up their home network to the public. They do a port forwarding, forwarding the port 25565 to your server's internal IP, and then sharing your home public IP address. Not very safe. Or you have a VPN server like WireGuard and have them connect to your VPN, but it's going to be slow. Well, no need for any of this, as we've already set up Twingate. So inside of the admin panel, and by the way, when we deployed the connector, we didn't even check, but you can see the status is connected, both the controller and the relay. So inside this admin panel, let's set up a user for, say, our cousin Bob who wants to join. So let's go to team. Let's add a group. And we'll call this group Minecraft. And I can add any of our players to it. So I can go to me. Click on my user, go down to groups, add to group Minecraft, just so I'm added to it. But now let's add a user named Bob. So let's go back to users and send Bob an email. I'm just gonna put in something else and pretend it's Bob. Send invite email and Bob should receive an email about it and be able to set things up. And I'll go ahead and add this user to the Minecraft group. So we have our Minecraft server deployed, we have a connector deployed, but this gives us access to nothing in our private network. We have to add this access. So let's add a new resource. Let's go up here, go to network, click on resources, and let's add a new resource. We'll call it Minecraft server. Actually, let's just call it Minecraft. The address is going to be the IP address of my server, which is 192. 168.1.111, create the resource, and we'll grant access to this resource for everyone in the Minecraft group. So let me now switch over to cousin Bob and play his role. Bob is ready to join me for a game of Minecraft. So if he hasn't done so already, Bob will download the Twingate client at twingate.com slash download. So you'll come here, hey, I'm on a Mac, download Mac OS installer. Now let me disconnect from my home network. So I'm gonna to connect to my hotspot so that I'm not on the network and this test can be valid. So I'm currently connected on a different network and I'm gonna log in as Bob. So Bob downloaded the client. He's gonna click log into Twingate, sign in with Google, and I've selected Bob's Google account. Now that we're authenticated, I should be able to go up here and see Minecraft under my resource. So now I'm gonna open Minecraft. So Bob is somewhere totally different. He's logged into Twingate, he's on a different network, and he wants to join my private server. So he's gonna go to multiplayer, and he can add my server. I'm just gonna do a direct connection. So 192.168.1.111. And then the port, so 25565 is the default Minecraft port, and join server. Now look at this, Bob is playing on my private Minecraft server, without me needing to open up anything in my private network. And since he's established a peer-to-peer -peer connection, it's going to be fast. You're not gonna see any latency here. Now let's go back. So let's disconnect from this. And we're gonna disconnect from Twingate. Remember, I'm on my hotspot. I'm not on my home network. So if we disconnect from Twingate, it should no longer work. So log out and disconnect. All right, we're disconnected. It should no longer work. If I go direct connection, I'm not on the same network, it shouldn't work anymore. So join server, and it says connecting to the server, and it's gonna to continue to say this because it's not gonna allow us to connect to my private network without Twingate. Test passed. So now I can head here, go to team, go to users, and I can add the rest of my friends or my kids or their friends. They can download the Twingate client, my network's private, they get to play on my private server, everybody's happy. If you have any questions, as always, ask them below or jump in our active subreddit and ask them there. There'll be a link down in the description. Thank you for watching.